After concluding their visit to South Africa on August 12, Tzu Chi members from Taiwan arrived in Mozambique and were greeted with a warm welcome. Their first stop in Mozambique was Beira, the largest city in the central province of Sofala. After Cyclone Idai in 2019, many schools in Mozambique were damaged. We're currently at the construction site of Esituro Primary School. It'll be the largest primary school in central Mozambique once it's completed by the end of next year. We didn't intend to build the largest school, but there are over 3,300 students here. It used to be over 100 students crammed in one classroom. So, in compliance with regulations, we aim to have 50 students per class, 48 classrooms in total. Near the new campus is the current Esituro Primary School building, which is frequently damaged by cyclones. Its location at the intersection of three streets makes it dangerous for students to commute. After discussions with the government, a plot of farmland was designated for Tsuchi to help build the new school. We'll reinforce the groundwork, ensuring a solid base for a stable foundation. The Sofala Provincial Director of Education also emphasized the importance of ensuring children's access to schools. Some children are sent to work on farms by their parents, and some live far from school, making it harder for them to attend school. But if we have schools in more places, it will be easier for children to go to school. Zuchi is working very hard to help us achieve these goals. The group then traveled to Mafamba's secondary school, built with Suchi's assistance. Since its opening last year, it has become the largest secondary school in Mozambique. It looks especially beautiful under the lights. This is an exciting moment. In the entire area, this place alone shines with hope. From a distance, it stands out as a beacon of hope. With Su Chi's efforts to build schools in Mozambique, a brighter future for children is within reach. Da ITV reports.